Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 29th of 2020. Well, it is titled Verona Rupes, tallest known cliff in the solar system. So what do we see here? Well, this is what we call Verona Rupes, which is identified as the tallest cliff that we know of in the solar system. So how big is this? Well, it's about 20 kilometers or 12 miles deep. And that would be 10 times deeper than the Grand Canyon here on Earth. Now, why is it here? Uh, where is this located? And it is located actually out in the depths of the solar system. And this is actually one of the moons of the planet Uranus and is actually it's one of its smaller uh, moons, Miranda. So not a gigantic moon. It has Uranus has several larger moons than this, but it does have the largest cliff that we know of. And why the cliff is here is a good question as to why this might have formed and could have been part of a remnant of some kind of impact that kind of shattered part of the planet leaving this large cliff. Or could there have been some kind of plate tectonic motion that caused this much as we cause mountains here on Earth because of plate tectonic tectonics. Now plate tectonics on Earth occur with the rock and plates moving on kind of a molten material layer down below them. Out in the depths of the solar system rock is completely frozen solid, but ice can behave as rock does. So actually, when you look at this image here, while that may look similar to our images of our own moon, it is actually all ice that we're looking at. And in fact, a lot of water ice and other ices of things like methane and ammonia. So all of the craters that we see in this image are caused by that the cliff itself is all ice. And that is what we see in the outer solar system rock is relatively rare and makes up the central cores of these objects. But the outer layers are all very icy. So we do see that and we see the largest cliff here and what is discussed is you know, could you survive a jump off of it. And the interesting thing is that certainly here on Earth you could not survive that kind of jump because of the stronger gravity. However Miranda being a lot smaller has much lower gravity and it would ac actually take you 12 minutes to fall from the top. And at the time by the time you got there you'd be going about 120 miles per hour when you struck the ground. So not easy to survive but certainly with certain padding you would be able to survive that kind of fall in that very low gravity whereas here on Earth certainly you could not begin to fall, survive a fall even much much smaller than that. So here we get to look at today uh, Verona Rupes, the tallest known cliff within our entire solar system. So that was our picture of the day for November the 29th of 2020. It was titled Verona Rupes, tallest known cliff in the solar system. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a starless space swan. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.